What's up guys, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing Minecraft with RTX mode on. So we're running a PC machine right now with an RTX 3090 and an i9-10900K processor. So this is a pretty high-end PC and we yet to try Minecraft's new RTX update which dropped around a week ago. So I'm super excited to actually play this game with RTX and it's also been a huge meme on the channel where people commented on my PC build video saying imagine buying a graphics card this powerful just to play Minecraft on which has not been the case because I've actually been playing a lot of games on it. But we're going to be trying out Minecraft RTX mode, which is Minecraft on Windows. So when we start the game, you can actually download a few different RTX compatible maps from the Windows Store. And the way you do this is you go on the Windows Store and you basically do a few different things. So if you type in RTX, it will come up with a few different maps which we can actually download. And most of these are free, bear in mind. So if you do have an RTX compatible graphics card, you can actually try these out. And they're super awesome, a lot of these cards. So let me just download a few of these and show you what they're like. So I'm going to go ahead and download this Coliseum one. We're going to download a few maps and we're going to try them all out. And I'd like to do a second video maybe tomorrow comparing the RTX Minecraft release on Windows to the Minecraft shaders on Java edition because I think the shaders look a lot better than the RTX Windows edition. But some of the shaders have ray tracing supported in Java too so that would be a really interesting video to do. So there's some really awesome free maps here which have all of the RTX technology in and all of these maps are collabs with Microsoft and NVIDIA and Microsoft's Mojang. So obviously to bring the RTX ray tracing technology, that's part of the NVIDIA cards. So now I've installed a few of these maps, let's jump into some of the maps. So I'm going to click on play and we should have a list of maps now. As you can see, we have the Observer RTX and Hilltop Lifestyle. These are two different maps. One of them is obviously like a huge hilltop mansion and house. And another one is some sci-fi Tron-like space sort of map, which should be pretty cool. So we are going to go on our world. And what we need to do is I think we need to go into the marketplace to actually play the worlds. So on Minecraft, you go into the marketplace and then you go into your player name and then your packs. And then we create a world using this pack. So we're going to go on this aquatic one, first of all. And this should have RTX already enabled, so we shouldn't have to do anything else. So now we should be able to just click on create and it should create ourselves this aquatic world. So this is basically like an update aquatic Minecraft 1.13 themed world. So this is like a water world, so this is going to be pretty cool. So now we're actually in the game. So try and see if there's anything you can notice which is any different to the normal Minecraft. So this is supposedly an RTX map. So far, I can't see so much different because we're actually underwater, but you can already see the actual reflections on these gold blocks are a lot different as well. Like, notice these blocks are a whole lot shinier than they usually are. If we go in third person and we do some swimming, we can also see that Steve looks a bit different as well. He has a lot different lighting effects than he usually should do on himself, so he does look a little bit different how he's supposed to. Underwater just looks a whole lot different. This whole map is underwater. Now, the water, one thing to notice as well with ray tracing is I think it changes the water just like a shader does. But you can already see underwater we have some real-time ripples on all, all of this water. And then we go above ground, and you can see with the RTX mode on Minecraft, it actually creates realistic water. So what we used to on a lot of the Java Edition shaders in the game, it creates this water that has a... Uh, water shader effects on it. So if we just jump into creative mode, so we can actually fly, we should be able to check out this map. So this is showcasing RTX. So now we can fly around and actually take a look at this map. So already you can see the water's a lot different to normal Minecraft. It's not that weird flat dark blue water that you see in Minecraft with the default textures. It looks a lot better, like there's actual real-time reflections. And if we look closer, there's a few ripples on it too. So this is no shaders. This is Microsoft Windows 10 Minecraft Edition. And then if we look on these gold blocks, you can see as we move, there's actually real shadows and shininess on it with the lighting. So that looks really cool. And in the distance too, these huge giant big trees that you can see actually are reflecting the shadows onto the water too, which looks super nice. So this looks really awesome. And we can just fly around and have a look at some other stuff. So these maps are 100% designed for the RTX technology. So all these maps have been designed using the right blocks to kind of showcase it. So even over here where we see that the primary blocks which are being used are actually glass blocks. 
So you can see that all of this glass is shining. You can see reflections and refraction on it. And I'm not sure, this actually looks like water. Okay, so this isn't actually glass, believe it or not, even though it looks like glass. This is actually water. So these are all water streams. So even the water streams, the running water is completely clear too, which looks super cool. And that kind of just flows into the ocean. I'm not sure what this potion effect is that I have on myself, but that's the reflection of water. And you'll notice that some of the lamps, I think these are redstone lamps, I'm not entirely sure. These actually have this red light reflection too. So there's a lot of difference to how things look in the Minecraft RTX edition. So this is actually pretty nice. Like I said, Minecraft shaders are a lot more impressive. In comparison, this may be a little bit underwhelming for people who have tried shaders already. But to say this is in the Microsoft Windows release, just look at how awesome this map is, by the way. This map looks absolutely huge. So this is like a giant recreation of, I think, Atlantis. So we're just gonna kind of explore through this map with this peaceful music in the background and you can have a little bit of a showcase of what the RTX technology is actually like. So I'm gonna fly straight out of here. I'm gonna fly all over here and I'm gonna give you a look of these awesome towers. So this map's really cool. I'm not sure how long it took them to make it, but there's so many of these maps which are collaborations between Mojang and Nvidia. So we're gonna momentarily jump onto a second map just to show you what it looks like. So for anyone who doesn't have an RTX card, this is what Minecraft with RTX mode on looks like. Probably not as good as what some people were predicting, but for people who've been playing Minecraft vanilla, you can definitely see some huge changes here. So next up, we're gonna play the Observer RTX. So this is that weird like sci-fi indoors map. It's kind of like a maze or a labyrinth that we have to go through. And the great thing about this map showcasing the features of RTX mode is it actually has a hole full of glass and reflective blocks. So the whole wall around you as you kind of traverse through the map is completely reflective. So we can kind of get an idea of what the map's like with all the lighting and how everything shines on all the blocks. So the main map, as you can see here, is super dark, but then it has all these different types of blocks. And I can't even tell you what these types of blocks are because I'd have to switch RTX RTX mode off to actually recognize what everything is. But we can see these like kind of multicolored disco lights over here, which looks really cool. And if you have a look, those disco lights are kind of reflecting onto the blocks. So it's pretty crazy to think that Minecraft of all games could actually have this technology because it just looks, it just looks like a completely different game. Minecraft with RTX mode on looks like one of those really bad Microsoft Xbox game store games that are like a ripoff of Minecraft. Like back in the Xbox 360 days, there was like a hundred copies of Minecraft on the Xbox store, but with better graphics than Minecraft, but the game was worse. This is exactly what this feels like. Those kind of upgraded graphics in Minecraft. But you can see these, these huge towers, and I think these are gold blocks. Because all these blocks are different, bear in mind. They could be prismarine, but I'm pretty sure these are gold. All these blocks are different, and they're giving off different levels of light and a completely different colored. Now this map's kind of cool too, because there's kind of like a parkour course that you can do on it. I'm absolutely terrible at parkour though, so I don't think I'm a very good candidate for, for actually playing parkour. But this is this map. This is the Observer. And this one probably showcases everything in RTX mode other than the water. Because the main reason why people want to play with RTX on Microsoft Windows is just to have some kind of water effect because the default Minecraft waters are not very good. Then we're gonna jump into Hilltop Lifestyle. So this is another map, and this basically spawns you on a hill by a Roman Colosseum. So we have a view of like the Colosseum and so many other things. Now this is in survival mode, so it's a pretty risky drop. And one thing about RTX mode, which I think it's done, is as you can see, it's basically like those 3D resource packs that you can get on Java Edition, where they make all the blocks 3D. You'll see that a lot of these wooden blocks over here they have kind of three dimensional textures to them, which could be a custom resource pack inside the map. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure RTX is actually doing this. So it's adding kind of like tessellation to the blocks, or maybe it's that new DSSL thing that Nvidia cards now, but it's added a lot more dimensions to some of these blocks, especially the wood blocks and the fence blocks. They look a lot better than the normal vanilla blocks do. So this map's pretty cool. As you can see all around, we have these huge buildings which kind of stretch across the mountains. And there's this giant coliseum. So I'm up inside this tower. So let's go down in this tower and see what we can get to on the bottom of the ground. Because right now we're at a really high altitude, which we don't want to be at. And there's glass panes outside as well. So you can kind of see all the reflections. Like in the middle of the glass, you can kind of see it looks a little bit different. And then you can see different light levels outside. The sky is kind of overexposed, but you kind of understand that obviously with RTX on, 
the lighting in the map is a lot different too. Oh snap, look at that pirate ship. Wait, let me jump out this window. We'll try not to die at this stage. I think I should be good. Okay, right, so I'm going to show you around this map. This whole place is illuminated with lanterns and it looks absolutely awesome. As you can see, this is kind of like a whole Roman Empire map with pirate ships around, huge lighthouses. And these maps are all designed as kind of like a showcase. It's kind of like a museum of these maps in the sense that you kind of walk around and have your own guided tour of what the RTX technology is like. So it's good to just play these maps and kind of give a little bit of a feel for them and just explore. And they have different aspects. So there's a huge crawl down here, which goes down into a dark area. So you can kind of experience what the darker lighting is. There's areas outside and then there's areas inside with lighting and different types of glass blocks so you can experience how the light reflects and refracts off those blocks as well. So the last map which I'm going to actually show is this Neon District RTX map. So this kind of gives me Cyberpunk 2077 vibes and obviously that game's just been released so I think this would be an awesome map to play. So basically this is kind of like a Cyberpunk dystopian city. So we're going to play this map and just check it out, especially with RTX on, it should be really awesome. I'm hoping we're going to see some really amazing lighting effects. So already we've spawned inside this huge room and I think we're surrounded by iron blocks. I could not tell you what any of these blocks are guys because they look completely different on this mode. But what kind of ruins it is these small pillar blocks which just, I mean, they kind of look a bit different with RTX because they have reflections and stuff, but they just look too Minecraft vanilla to be blended in with everything else. So that's super weird. But we have like iron blocks around us, which look more like vents, like when you go into an air vent, like vent covers. That's what they look like now. But you can see the green lights from the other side are shining on the walls and some red lights are shining on the walls as well. And then over here, this trap door is an iron trap door too, which is dark. And an iron... No, this is a wooden door. Okay, so for some reason, the wooden door looks chrome as well. So I'm not sure how they've done that. And then we have different lamps over here in E and F shapes, which is pretty cool. So now we're going to continue walking. So this is supposed to be like a cyberpunk city. And they have all these lights hanging from the roof. This looks super awesome. This looks exactly like this crystal world that I went to on holiday once. It was like a world where they had like dark rooms with different types of crystal sculptures and lights in. That, that really reminds me of that. But as you can see, in the distance, we have all of these cyberpunk buildings, and one of them says RTX on the sign. And the other one, I'm not entirely sure what that reads, but they have text on them. And just look how far down it is. If we jump off right now, we would be dropping so far down to the sea. Like, we'd die so quickly. So I'm not sure if this is a safer way down. I guess we could hop into creative mode. Obviously, creative mode's really nice in Minecraft because you can kind of just fly around and get a feel for everything. I'm not sure what FPS we're running on, but the graphics card's definitely running RTX Minecraft with ease. So it doesn't seem to have any performance drops or any kind of performance hogging with RTX mode. So I think most people who have RTX cards can probably run this. Even if you have the last generation of cards, like 2060s, you should still pretty much be able to run RTX Minecraft with limited problems. So even the clouds, one thing you'll notice about the clouds on the RTX mode as well is they seem more realistic. They actually seem more like clouds. Instead of just being one flat block of white, they're actually kind of see-through and they kind of actually have lighting to them instead of just being one flat color. So the clouds are noticeably much better and that's actually quite a big bonus because most of the time in Minecraft, I always turn off the clouds. So that's actually quite nice. And if we go around, you can kind of just see the glass in all the buildings look a lot better than they usually do. So if I just go inside here, this is probably the best example of this. All of this purple glass here, the glass panes here look normal, but depending on which way you're actually looking at them, the reflections on the glass change to many different shades of colors, which they usually don't. So I'd say this is probably one of the best showcases in this map to have a look at all of the features of RTX mode. Like I said, you might have to play a few different maps like we did, because not all of them have water in them. Now, I really like this glass here. This is the dark blue glass panes. And as we kind of fly along, they just look like crystals. Like it looks like it's made out of crystal and not glass. It's really impressive. But this would probably make a really good video just kind of flying through this map with music. I feel like this is a really good showcase of the technology. So this is what the tunnel looks like with lighting and dark lighting and some lamps above. And that's basically Minecraft with RTX mode on. I've shown you the water, I've shown you the lighting effects and how it affects a lot of blocks, especially the more chromatic blocks in the game like iron, gold and some of the metal based blocks and the glasses like this, as you can see this glass lift 
has changed a lot too. So there's a big impact that RTX mode has on Minecraft. I'd like to make a video explaining the technology and showing more of the features and talking more about it. But for now, this is just going to be a gameplay video showcasing all of the different maps you can download. If you want me to show you a few of the other maps which you can play on Minecraft RTX mode, then drop a comment on the video and like it to let me know that you want to see another one. And if you want to see a video explaining what RTX is in Minecraft and the features it actually adds to it, as well as doing a comparison between RTX mode on Minecraft compared to the best shaders on Minecraft Java Edition, I think that would make a good video. So let me know if that's something you want as well. And make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.